Next-Gen DNA Sequencing, a look into microscopic worlds. Let's take a closer look at our poison dart frog friend, Leaper. We can see here that there are many different microbial species present on the surface of his skin. And if we look even closer, this diversity is determined by the microbial species DNA. Indeed, all forms of life on Earth rely on a genome that contains information necessary for their survival. Most genomes, including ours, are based in DNA, and this determines the diversity of life that we see. DNA was first identified in the late 1800s, and then many discoveries, including its structure, allowed us to better understand its function. With this information, Sanger developed an efficient method to sequence DNA. Over time, sequencing technologies advanced, and by 2003, the impressive Human Genome Project was completed, with the complete sequencing of the over 3 billion base pair human genome. This project demonstrated the immense technological progress in DNA sequencing and also vastly increased our knowledge of and ability to study human biology. The first widely used sequencing technology was Sanger sequencing, and it is still very useful, especially for smaller projects, like mine in the Nybert lab. I studied a complex viral system in which a type of double-stranded RNA relied on viral replication machinery in order to replicate. Since we knew of conserved sequences in these RNA, we use Sanger sequencing to compare the different variations and begin to understand their function. However, there are several limitations to Sanger sequencing. It requires specific primers, is accurate only to a certain number of base pairs, and can only determine one sequence with no variations at one time. To address these shortcomings, next generation, or next gen, sequencing was developed. Next gen is much better than traditional Sanger sequencing for de novo sequences, large higher throughput sequencing projects, and population diversity studies. For instance, it can be used to profile the composition of a microbiome, which is a community of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. Microbiomes are miniature versions of the biological interactions we see every day and can be found almost anywhere. With the O'Connell Lab, I studied the Diablita poison dart frog in the rainforest of northern Ecuador. Since these frogs' skin microbiome is particularly sensitive to environmental changes, studying it can give valuable insight into the rapid climate change occurring in this area. Climate change in regions like South America has been associated with drastic amphibian biodiversity loss, most likely due to a skin disease caused by chytrid fungus. When chytrid or other fungi are disproportionately present, intense skin desiccation can occur, preventing the frogs from absorbing oxygen. This essentially suffocates the frogs. Next-gen sequencing can help us understand how the frog skin microbiomes are changing and how and why the fungus chytrid is becoming so much more prevalent. We first took skin microbiome samples by swabbing the skin of various Diablita frogs. Using Next-gen, we determined the sequences of the bacterial 16S ribosomal RNA genes and the fungal ITS non-functional RNA genes present in each sample. These genes have portions unique to each bacterial and fungal species which allow us to identify the different species present and note their relative proportions on each frog's skin. Next-gen sequencing begins by shearing the DNA into many shorter pieces. Unique sequences of DNA called adapters attach to both ends of these fragments, acting as identifying barcodes for each piece of DNA. These adapters also allow both ends of each DNA fragment to attach to a slide through complementary base pairing. These bound DNA fragments are then amplified with DNA polymerase, making many copies of the DNA fragments in clusters. Fluorescently labeled nucleotides are added and allowed to bind to the DNA fragments. A camera reads the fluorescent label on each bound nucleotide to determine its sequence. Using this data, we can identify the different versions of 16S and ITS genes present, allowing us to understand the biodiversity of the frog skin microbiome. Next-gen sequencing can also be used to understand other microbial communities. For instance, next-gen can be used to study the human gut microbiome to understand human diseases, diverse soil microbiomes to improve agricultural efficiency, and the cheese microbiome to improve dairy production. Sequencing technology continues to improve, lowering cost and streamlining data output and processing. As next-gen is used more and more, we are beginning to understand even the most complex of communities through the diversity of their DNA.